Hello everyone, this is the Russian Prince with our Oriental Empire's Let's Play episode as the Shang. So, our, this guy has recovered from a grief spoon, so his key has decreased. Oh no! Oh no! Lands pillaged. Uh, it seems like this is not really working. The button. Sure. Battle report here. Mm, okay. White D. Indecisive battle. Indecisive, really. <laughs> this report. Oh, narrow victory. Oh, we barely won. We took. Well, we have Shang. We have Bo. We have Yin. We lost Lindsay, which is a bit sad, but we have Yin back. And we're gonna go for Owl. And as you can see, every time the tutorial keeps playing itself, which is a bit weird, of course, but yeah. I'm gonna go for Owl, then this stack I'm gonna send back in there. In Xiang, we probably need to start researching some... Uh, nope, not quite there. Nope. Hmm. I need recruits, but I can't recruit anything here. I can recruit here, but we don't. Ha we're starting to lose money, so I do not want to have too many men. You know. Now the problem here, yeah, we should probably start recruiting some. And uh, oh, we can't because this is in turmoil. So I'm just gonna have to end the turn and see what happens. Of course, there is a battle over here, which I mean, we have 160, they have 56. So let's just fast forward this. We should win. It's easy. Now we're just gonna move out and attack Owl, cause yeah, looks like we can do it in the same turn, which is fine. We have progressed in thought. Okay, so what now? We have to kind of increase our culture, probably or authority. We could increase. Yeah, let's go astrology. Well, actually no, cause that takes a while to finish. If we take astrology, then we can take Taoist temple. Mm, nah. Let's finish all these guys. Yeah. No. So then we do. Yeah, because that is really good. So I think we should get shamanism. Right. Now here in Kin, still we should start recruiting some nobles. So we have long spearmen. Okay. So I'm gonna recruit some of these guys. There we go. We should have three of them. So there we go. And the garrison. Now, Xiang, this could be a problem because they have some noble axemen here and we have absolutely no units here. Actually, nobody e we can even recruit, so we've basically probably lost that. Some bandits here. We don't have troops here, but Bo... We still kind of need to... Yeah. Recruit some units in Bo. Let's recruit a few long spearmen, and there we go. So now I'm gonna select all of these stacks here. Probably I'm gonna move these guys over, move them to Xiang, because I need them to go there and support that area. Now we're probably gonna get an attack going over there, which is fine, we'll take that land back. It's gonna give us the money that we need. So we've got a battle here, we've got a battle here. Yin should be very easily defendable. This battle here, now, this is a bit, where's the battle? I don't see it, okay, whatever. Now, Xi'an could be a problem. Okay, so this battle we should win for sure. Looks like they retreated, as one would think. Now, there's probably... Crushing victory. Well, that's really what I would expect. Oh, we have Owl. Lands pillaged. Really? Stop pillaging my lands. Anyway, occupy settlement. That's what we do. Oh, settlement is in turmoil. That's fine. In Xi'an, however... Let's keep building farms in Yin. Building farms because that's the way it works in Bo. Build farms because that is what you do. In Ao, no, no, no. Bo in Yin. We can also cut down trees at the same time, so there's that. Oh, that takes a very long time, so I'm not gonna do it. However, in uh, Ao, nope. Xiang. Well, we're already building stuff, so we might as well. Oh, this. We could start taking down those forests, because they are annoying. 
Or should we, though? Hmm. Cause if we don't take them down, we can start some ambushes. But I guess I'm going to take that for us down, at least. Should be good. We're losing a lot of money, which is why we actually need to take a lot more land. Because otherwise, yeah. So, wait, if I look at diplomacy... Dongi. Dongi and, uh, yeah, White D. Thing is, I have no idea where they are, so I have to kind of start sending my troops out here. Oh, whoops. Okay, so we have a lot of troops here and a lot of troops here as well. So I'm gonna send basically everyone out, except like, let's say, two troops. And these guys, you're gonna go down there. Now, Nian. I have a hard time selecting troops, which is a bit weird. Okay, so I'm gonna send two out here and from Bo. Uh, no, that's actually sending out quite a few. So, in fact, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select Yin. I'm having way too hard of a time selecting these troops. So I'm gonna send three guys out. Take Zeng. Oh, I haven't declared war on them. That's fine. I mean, we can just like. Scout out the lands. Actually, why can I not scout? That's a good question. Yeah, I can't actually go to any of these lands. Uh, now I hope somebody can explain me, to me why that is the case. Because right now I'm a bit confused, actually. Okay, I'm going to stop them. Stop these guys from moving. I don't know if anyone knows why does uh, like if anyone knows why I can't move into these hexes It would be nice because right now as you can see I have no idea what to attack. Wow There's a lot of troops here. Actually, we're gonna need some archers too because at the moment we actually have no archers whatsoever Can we recruit any in like yin? I think we built something here that allows us. Nope, unfortunately not uh, We can however build a settler which would be very good here so in the garrison I'm gonna send the settler out with one guy to keep him protected. Meanwhile, in Yin, what I can, however, do is. Uh, this is gonna cost us even more money, but we're gonna have to recruit these guys. Oh, did I recruit too many already? Holy crap, I did. <laughs> okay, whatever. This is fine. <laughs> it's gonna end turn as it is. Okay, looks like there's a battle somewhere around here, which is absolutely fine, I think. We just, like, demolish them right there. So that's no problem. We're gonna go for Lindsay, we're gonna take some of her stuff. Okay, so we have prog progressed in craft, which is great. Now, we can't actually advance to some of these ages, but yeah. Silk Weaver or increase culture by one. Increase culture by one looks nice. Now here, did they really take back Yin? That is, yeah. I guess we sent out all the troops, so they just somehow took it back, which means our income is really crap. Yeah, I guess, I suppose that's what happened. So that's pretty bad, guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna t go take these lands because I can, but actually that would make things hard. Hmm, no, I'm gonna have to go back with some of these guys and then, how am I going to explore is the question, you know? Like, yeah, I'm gonna move that way. Ooh. Yeah, I need to take back Lin Z. That is a fact. Now, these guys... You guys are just gonna go up there. Or actually... No, I'm gonna make them right there. Yeah, I'm gonna make this uh, settlement right here. Or there, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna make it right there. That's fine. Mm, it doesn't have fish, though, but whatever. So, I'm gonna end the turn right now. And we'll see what actually happens. We're gonna run out of money, and I don't know what happens when we run out of money. Anyway, Yin's gonna be ours. There's a battle here, which... Oh, we're gonna lose Yang. There's no question about it, because our troops are... Where did we send our troops? Because we had some troops here, but they disappeared. Actually, apparently we have 240 in Xiang, and I don't know from where, but okay. Oh, I don't know why I was not finishing it, you know. But looks like... 
Yeah, they we they we've broken them. We had like 200 troops. Oh, I see. They, they, there's like a different flag that's behind them there. Okay, that makes sense then. So anyway, I'm gonna leave like one of those mission long spearman boys out there, and I'm gonna start chasing these guys back. I'm gonna attack here. Oh really? Well, I'm gonna fortify here. And in Jeng, since I just made this, I'm going to start creating some farms. I'm going to select here and I'm going to leave one guy and I'm going to send the others out. Our income is still pretty bad, but it should be getting better because taxes are quite good. Now I should be looking at getting some edicts. No, Grand Commandant is not what I want, really. Hmm, Wellfield system is still pretty good that we have it. I'm gonna end turn again and see what happens. Okay, so there's three battles. This one, well, we should be able to win every battle, I think. And then there's this battle, which we should also be able to win. And then there's this battle, which again, we should be able to win as well. So let's see, yeah. Siege of Ao. Oh. Well, actually, the Siege of Ao is not one that we can actually win. It's a bit sad. I'm gonna have to reinforce it. So we'll lose one battle. That's fine. Well, I don't know because I was given us money, so the fact that I took it is pretty bad. So I'm gonna have to send these this stack right back there. Or did, actually didn't take it, which is fine. Can I recruit troops here? Yeah, I can recruit some troops, but that's gonna kill our income even more, which is fine. Wow, they're actually sending a lot of troops out though. <laughs> Interesting. Is this gonna tra take like three turns? Okay. So I'm gonna continue chasing them there. And then I'm gonna move in through there and I'm soon gonna be running out of money, which is really, really bad, guys. It's like really, really bad. Soon I get archers, but I can't take this. I can, however, take the noble archers, though. Which I'm gonna actually want. But yeah, financially, we're not doing great, guys. We're not doing great at all. I don't even know what's gonna happen once we run out of money. I hope nothing terrible, but usually when you run out of money in games, terrible stuff happens. Okay, so they're attacking Ao and they have more troops. They actually took it, so even though we had a lot of troops around here, looks like we actually lost that engagement and they took Ao and there goes a lot of our income as well. So there's that, but now we still gotta get to Lindsay. We gotta get our troops going back here. Okay, I'm gonna... Leave one guy here, but I'm gonna start going to the forest here. Get a good situation. Now in Bo, we have some troops, and it looks like there's a bodyguard there, but still. We're actually spread out a lot, which is which could be a problem. I have some troops in Xiang, but it's only just one troop, really. I kind of needed this troop here, but I guess we also have to go for Lindsay. But once again, I'm gonna end turn. Technology warning again. Oh, power. Okay, so what do we need here? Well, barracks is important. Market. Hmm. We need to increase the farm food production as well, so we can tax more people. Because say, if you increase the farm food production, that means you will get more people. Okay, so there's potentially going to be a battle here. Nope, there's a siege of bow, however. Battle of oh, this one. One for sure this one we should win well actually it's a bodyguard but we should still end up winning this actually no because again it's a bodyguard but some of them are still dying sometimes no it looks like they took it wow just the bodyguard unit took it so this is pretty bad because it looks like we lost both jeng and this as well and owl has a ton of troops there so we have to go to jeng right now our income we are actually in the minus and I don't know what that means. But that sounds pretty bad. We have a clear victory here. But yeah, our troops are like super spread out. And I don't know why it's like this. Okay. I mean, I... It's... The thing is that they there's like... We have like two enemies, which is getting really difficult to take care of. I mean, we're taking back the lands for sure, but still... Okay, there we go. We're gonna take that back and we're gonna take this as well, cheap AN. While we do that, they took bow. Great. <laughs> okay, so now what I can do is I can leave some guys there and I'm gonna attack here. So I need to take that out. And why is it why is our why is our financial summary getting worse and worse? 
Expenses. Army upkeep. Well, yeah, army upkeep is pretty bad, guys. Agriculture taxes. What did we lose? Boys, I guess, pretty important. And Jang and Owl. Hmm. Suppose I have to go there and take them back. But I'll get Jibei anyway. And we finally have Lindsay. I'm gonna leave with some troops anyway. But still, this is not great. Okay, Lindsay, they've attacked me again. Oh, this is fine. Looks like we're winning, actually. More true. Oh, no. They sent some troops to reinforce. We might still end up winning because we have the Noble Axe, guys. Yeah, I think we won. Push them back. But still, they're like two factions, so they are definitely going to have more than uh, we, we can muster, for sure. Okay, so that's done. I guess I'm going to leave one stack, and then I'm going to go take bow, because I need to take bow, and then here. And then I need to... Wait, what? Oh, we lost a lot of guys, so... I'm gonna have to send some reinforcements here. In the meantime, these noble axemen can... Oops. Alright. It actually never popped up what I need to do, so... This is probably why our... Income has been so bad, because I never chose Occupy, maybe. Hmm. That could be why. Anyway. Lindsay right here, Turmal, okay. Here we should probably start building some more farms. That is pretty bad, it's pretty bad. Turmal everywhere, so our income is really crap. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna keep one guy here. And the other guy just needs to go out there. What? No, I'm s I need to select this guy. This guy I'm gonna send out there. Right. That's how we'll do it. So I'm gonna end turn again and see how it goes. See how it goes indeed. Siege of Yin. Okay, that's not good. Because they're sieging Yin with quite a few troops, I think. Is this where my bodyguard is, though? It might be. Which could be a decent defense. Here we're losing. Here we'll probably lose again. So actually, we're losing. I think we're about to lose this campaign because... We don't have troops left, actually, and we can't really recruit. Okay, we barely defeated them back in Yin, and I think that's with our bodyguard as well. So I think we did lose some battles here. Okay, Bo. Mm, we still have Linz, did we? Okay, indecisive battle here, okay. Narrow victory in Yin. Indecisive battle in Lindsay. Well, that's kind of what I guess I, I thought. Okay, we're not losing that much anymore, but... Gonna get Jibei. I don't know why we didn't get it already, but hey, that's... I guess that's okay. Now, the problem is that they're about to take this land here. And... Oh, that was a Noble Axe. Okay. Thought it was gonna be not as much stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna send more guys back. Meanwhile, why are we not sieging... Battle of Jibei. Okay, Battle of Linz. Oh, we've lost this. Yeah, Battle of Jibei. Why is it not a siege, though? Okay. Oh, what? We lost that battle. Ooh, that's pretty bad, guys. I thought we were gonna win that. Huh. Okay, that's bad. So they took that. Oh, but our income is now finally getting... Fine, I guess, for once. But Jibei is still not ours. Great, and we're gonna lose this guy, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna... Wait, can I not delete him? I guess there's no button for that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. There's that button. The thing is, yeah, he's raising, raiding our farms and stuff. So what I need to do here, just occupy. Here, select this guy. I'm gonna send, because we need to go to our capital, Yin. In the, in the meantime, let's continue producing farms in Xiang, in Zheng. The same thing, in Yin, do the same thing. So actually, I think we lost a lot of farms in Jeng, so this means our growth progress is dropping. And Bo, yeah, it looks like there's still Turmal, so that's fine. Technology warning, though. Okay, so in Craft, let's get the Silk Weaver stuff, I guess. Although, horse riding, eh. Not something we can take, but anyway. 
let's enter and hopefully we get in there in there before anything crazy happens we should win this we have enough here this is a hard one because the angle is weird but these guys are oh we beat them back in some area and then like we lost in another area okay so i guess that happens but still we're back in here we're always back <laughs> we never get completely routed off so i'm gonna go in again for another attack bandits What? That's really bad that we have bandits. It's not good at all. Okay, in the meantime, though, oh, that's a bodyguard unit. So if I kill the bodyguard, that could be really bad for him. And I think I can with these two units. Because he's really low. Hmm. Now, if I look at these lands, what can I construct? Okay, Turmal and Bow. Siang, let's just keep building stuff. See, so yeah, I mean, we're still, we're down to like four again. Could have five soon, but I doubt we'll get this one. So yeah. I mean, they're just literally outproducing us right now, for sure. Okay, so there's a battle. here. What? Can they really do that? They're gonna take Yin like this. What? Oh, Siege of Yin, we're, I guess we're taking it back. So we moved out and they somehow took it. Okay. Does this mean we have to occupy it again? Actually, no. Okay. So, though, the, the peasant unrest is really high because of happiness and satisfaction. Oh, food shortage and well-field system and stuff. Well, that's annoying for them. Yeah. Looks like we have to go to Jeng because there's some issues there right now. This guy doesn't really have much strength, though. Hmm. The bodyguard. But we should still send him there to support. Meanwhile, these guys should go here and rest. Troops here are still recovering. This guy is fine. We lost our troops there, but this means now our income is pretty damn crazy. <laughs> so we've done some research. The power no longer needs research, but now we have we can actually start researching. So important stuff like signaling. But anyway, that's enough for now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.